thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and share for a chance to win a future grand prize and only among the subscribers so now we'll be showing this uh, problem many people have shown a uh, repair for this the belt drive belt or serpentine belt switch you hear the crystal clear squeak now people have sprayed WD-40 to eliminate this squeak the problem is it comes back sometimes louder even with, with this WD-40 so it doesn't work it doesn't work and <clears throat> this bell squeak that I'm gonna show how to resolve it hopefully we'll be able to I'm actually also trying. It has new pulley, the idler, idler pulley, uh, air conditioner pulley, tensioner pulley, all are new, yet it's squeaking. Why? The reason is I put a cheaper belt, and they're not that cheap anyway, but belt, and as soon as the weather got in cooler, winter hit, the belt started to squeak belt is squeaking because it's sleeping these are V groove belts so this side is smooth the other side has V groove and that's sleeping on the pulley the belt has worn out even if it's not worn out it hardens there's no crack in the belt on both sides there's no crack at all it's a newer belt now I'll show what I'll try is try to replenish this belt. Two ways to do it. One, I'll brush this belt with a steel brush, steel wire brush, slightly, mildly. Like as if I'm sanding the surface of it very gently, both sides of it. So inside grooves are more important as well as this side. And the second secondary thing I may do is apply some silicone lube or rubber lubrication to make the rubber softer if it's softer it should give better traction not slip and this noise should go away not come back maybe every three four months have to spray that but it shouldn't be like wd-40 that you spray it gone and then it comes back 10 minutes later or one hour later the next day so i'll show you how to use a steel brush So this is the steel brush I'm going to use. It's pretty soft. It's pretty soft. Not a hard steel brush. Now I'm going to just touch on top of it. The engine is actually rotating towards me. So it's going to shoot everything into my eyes. So better to have eye protection or, or do it from the other side. So hold it such a way. I'll hold it such a way that the debris goes downward. So let's try it. No change in the noise. I didn't expect this side anyway. It has to be inside of it. The groove. Belt looks uh, a bit sharper. There's the pulley. I'm gonna hold it on the pulley a little bit to clean it up too. So now I am going to do this from inside so it's going to clean, it's going to be kind of tough, it's going to clean the inside ribs. I'm trying to figure out which way I can do it easier, maybe here. Let's see.
right there from inside. A little bent steel brush would have been easier. Let's try. did go down a little bit already it's hard to hold the camera and do it so I'll do it more and see if it goes away so did from this side it did go down a bit but I think in this vehicle this is the tensioner tensioner and tensioner actually moves a little bit like this so I'll spray some lubrication between the metal on metal. There's a slight, slight uh, opening in the tensioner where inside there's a spring. Either spring or hydraulic. Hydraulic doesn't make noise but spring loaded. This is a spring loaded one. Uh, so I'm going to spray some lubrication there. So I'll spray some silicone lubricant through that gap, not on the belt. Oops, I just uh, caused a problem here. Sprayed once, it already went down. And the sound is gone. So the problem is that tensioner. It's gonna come back as the silicon wires out. It's coming already. But we know the culprit. So it's not as much as the belt. It looks like the tensioner fully is the problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lot of regular engine oil in it. I'm going to shut down the car and through the crack to the uh, tensioner spring inside I'm going to soak it with oil which is not going to dry easily and I have to be careful that it doesn't go to the belt. Let's try that. So this is oil. Regular engine oil. I'm gonna put that right there through the crack. I don't know if you can see it. So this is what I found. There's a lot of rust in the water pump pulley. Turn on the light so you can see. The water pump pulley is far back there. Right there. So the car sat for a while too. Not driven every every day. So that pulley I noticed has a lot of rust in it. In its uh, groove, the grooves there, the pool is uh, six or five teeth groove, uh, has a lot of developed, a lot of rust. So that's the pulley trying to shine light on it, right, right there. That's the one that a lot of rust in it. It cleaned a little bit because I just sprayed. Uh, I just sprayed the. There's the one. I just sprayed uh, silicon lube on it, and right away the noise went away. So that single-handed. This is the water pump pulley. Was ca causing the problem, and I made sure 
that I did not spray silicone lube on the belt. Although the silicone lube that I sprayed is safe for the belt, it actually makes the belt softer, so it's better. Uh, it doesn't harden the belt. I'll, I'll actually give a link. I'll try to give a link of uh, this 3-in-1 silicone lube. So now I'll start the vehicle again. Start it. See, noise is gone, completely gone, just from that pulley. So all I did is this. From here, it's kind of very difficult to show, but this three in one. Silicon lubricant. Is three in one. I'll give the link of this. This is very useful. I find it in many cases better than WD-40 because it doesn't dry as fast and it it's lubricates as well instead of just uh, like a kerosene cleaning it. So it turns out silicon lubricant it is three in one. Uh, sprayed on the power steering pump pulley as well. I'll show you right here. Right there, that one. That one was rusty a little bit too. And although the noise was gone before anyway, but this made it even ultra quiet. And I cleaned the belt a little bit. How? I'll show you in a second. So take a piece of clean tissue, fold it a little bit, and spray a little bit of a silicone lubricant. And then started the car and then I held it there. Start it. The noise is all gone already. Now, this tissue soaked in uh, silicone lube. I hold so slightly, don't get caught. Don't get caught into that thing. Eh? This is how I clean the belt as well. So now it's almost clean, so not much coming. So as the pulley. That pulley was very dirty. Hit this, slightly hold it for a while as the engine is running. And all the dirt comes. It was really dirty. I'll show you how bad it was. It was this. This is what came before. Okay. This is how dirty it was. So the silicon lube, the steel wire brush a little bit to roughen it up. And, and silicon lube on the belt as well as on the groove pulleys helped quieten this belt amazingly. I hope this lasts. So I waited for a while and then restarted. No noise yet. Runs nice and smooth. So be, uh, be very careful doing this thing, especially while it's running. The way I showed how to clean this and uh, it, it can get caught in the belt and especially if someone has any scarf or any rope or anything like uh, a jacket to this kind of rope dangling it can it can catch 
uh, the bell can catch it and that's the that's the disaster major accident so make sure nothing is loose no long locks hairs can go here okay so moving uh, best is to spray while the engine is off not while the engine is running so take safety precautions if you choose to do do at your own risk but this saves me not replacing this belt over and over and over is it a 20 30 dollars belt well this was a sidelco so this is like 80 dollars and still it didn't work the problem is not only in the belt the problem was the pulleys that that had little rust around it okay hope this helps so silicon lube it is